Hello guys, today we're going to be building the Renfei 251 in Minecraft. Now, um, this is actually my first non-American train build tutorial in Minecraft. And also my first Minecraft a non-American train build. And this is what it looks like. This was a train request by TrainFan23. And, um... This is also the longest train I built, because it's 39 blocks, excluding the coupling, including the coupling here and all these details. It's 41 blocks long. And it's also one of the tallest, but not the tallest. Um, it has a little power line, which I'll also show you how to make. And it also has one of those little power line thingies that go up and down. And this is what it looks like when it's up, and this is what it looks like when it's down. So we're sure to make that as well. And anyway, so yeah, let's get started on the train build. So we're gonna grab the black wool and the nether brick stairs. And we're gonna grab the nether brick stairs. And we're gonna add one nether brick stair in the middle and then sideways ones on the sides for like a little sofa shape. Now, you might also be wondering how come you didn't just do three nether brick stairs? Well, the answer is because the snowplow, or whatever it is, was a little bit different on this train, so I kind of did it like this. And anyway, let's add upside down nether brick stairs on the sides. And above those nether brick stairs, add regular facing ones, so they're like that. And now let's add black wolves in the middle, three of them. There's a gap there. And in the middle, we're going to want to go back by 38 blocks, make it 39 blocks long. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Now we're going to add black wolves on the sides, so it looks like this. And now we're just going to want to copy what we did with the nether brick stairs to the front, on the front I mean, to the back. And now behind the little snowplow thing, add three black wolves. And in the very middle row, we're just going to want to change this uh, one block wide black wool thing here to make it three blocks wide. So add a row on each side so it's kind of symmetrical like this so there's uh and make sure there's no like block sticking out in sight um now let's grab the nether brick stairs and just add two regular facing ones on the sides like this so it kind of looks like that and now let's go to the back and do the exact same thing so it looks like this and now let's grab the yellow wool and the nether brick slab and just add two yellow wools behind these stairs here like that and let's add nether brick slabs underneath so they're regular facing like that And once we're done, let's grab the dark oak fence gate. After we add all these nether brick slabs, because I forgot here. Now behind the slabs, add dark oak fence gates. So they're kind of on the anvils, or whatever you make your tracks out of. I use anvils, but you don't have to use anvils if you want. Now, uh, once that's done, we're going to grab the... We're going to grab the nether brick stairs. And add two upside down nether brick stairs beside the two dark oak fence gates. And once you've added them in the middle between them, add up upper nether brick slabs. Um, and we're gonna want to do the same thing on the other side with the dark oak fence gates and these little upside down nether brick stairs and upper nether brick slabs thing. Those are just for the wheels, like this. And, um, now we're gonna grab the nether brick wall and the, no, not the oak fence gate, the oak trap door. 
like this. And just add another brick walls behind all the yellow walls. And add upper oak trap doors like this. And once that's done, add some dark oak fence gates on all these upside down um, nether brick stairs. Forgot where they were called for a sec. And once that's done, let's grab the dark oak trap door. And in the very middle row, we're going to want to fill the entire middle row underneath with dark oak trap doors. Because I saw the bottom, and I thought, hmm, looks kind of empty. I think we need a little more. So I just added um, dark oak trap doors in the very middle row. And I think that looks a little bit better. Or, I don't know if I'd call it better, just looks a little good. And once that's done, we're going to want to grab the dark oak fence gate and just add dark oak fence gates right next to these two here and just open them so they're kind of going into there like that. And once that's done, we're going to go to the left side and above this open dark oak fence gate, add a regular one. But on the right side, add an upside down nether brick stairs, so it's kind of like this. And once that's done, let's just add a black wool above there. And the reason we're doing this is so we can place some grindstones down here, like this. Just so you can make it look like that. Now underneath the grindstones, add dark oak trap doors underneath. And beside the grindstones, add dark oak fence gates on, like I said, the sides. And once that's done, add some upside down nether brick stairs back to back on each other, like that. And in front of them, add upper nether brick slabs. And now, behind all these um, dark oak fence gates, add back to back nether brick stairs, like this. And add one facing to the side, like that. So this is kind of what it should look like. And let's add dark oak trap doors underneath the back to back stairs. And underneath the slab, add a dark oak fence gate. And once that's done, let's add a dark oak fence gate on the sides there like that. And once that's done, underneath these dark oak fence gates, add dark oak trap doors like that. Like underneath the dark oak fence gates. And now let's add a black wool. And then another brick slab underneath. And now... In there, let's add an upside down another brick stairs and add another one there so it's back to back like that. And now let's add more back to back another brick stairs like this up here so you have this little detail. And once that's done, um, Let's add a, an upside down nether brick stairs facing towards the front on both sides, like that. And in here, let's add more. So it's kind of like that. And now let's add sideways dark oak fence gates. So it looks like this. And now let's add another brick stairs like that. It's kind of difficult to make, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, now above uh, 
He's upset downstairs at Black Bull Blocks, like that. And now we're actually gonna skip a block, or leave a block, and add a Dark Oak Fence Gate. And now let's add two upside down nether brick stairs. And underneath these stairs, add Dark Oak Fence Gates. So it's like that. Wait, I'm just looking, um, okay, it's good, I just, um, I just need to know something, um, it's all good. So, uh, now let's grab the nether brick wall, and add nether brick walls on these sides, and then add dark oak fence gates beside them, and in here, let's add more back-to-back, -back, um, Another brick stairs for the wheels. More wheels, I mean. And now let's add black wool blocks on the sides here. And add dark oak trap doors underneath these blocks. And now let's add dark oak fence gates. And now we're gonna grab the black wool and add two more up here. And just add two grindstones there, like that. I think they're all for like little springs or something. I'm not quite sure. And now let's grab the dark oak trap door and add two underneath here, like that. And now let's grab the nether brick slab and just add nether brick slabs in between there, like that. And then two upside down nether brick stairs here, like that. I think those are for like, small wheels or something, I'm not quite sure. And now let's grab the dark oak fence gate, and just add some on those sides, like that. And I think this is the last detail for the bottom completely. Just add nether brick fences right there, like that. And this is what the bottom should look like. I know it's a mess, but it's for detail. <laughs> now let's get rid of all our items. And now all we need is the dark oak fence gate and the nether brick wall. And just add nether brick walls on the sides, like on the side of black walls, like that. And then a dark oak fence gate sideways there for the coupling. Now you may have noticed, usually, I do the nether brick slabs for the couplings. How come this time I only use the dark oak fence gates? Well, there's an answer to that. It's because on this train, it's a bit different. Because like I said, this is my first non-American train tutorial, so this is going to have a lot of differences from my normal trains. Because you see, this is usually the t type of trains I build, but this is what I made. Um, once that's done, underneath the, um, the brick walls, add open dark oak fence gates. And now let's do the same thing on the other side, on the back. And once that's done, we're gonna start doing the top a little bit now. So we're gonna grab the yellow wool, and just add a 2x5 on the bottom, like this. And then add another five up here, like this. And now let's grab the sandstone wall and the prismarine wall. And add two sandstone walls on the sides. And then a prismarine wall in the middle for like a little uh, logo or something that's blue. And now it's an oak trap door above the prismarine walls. Oh yeah, I forgot. Opening those removes that dark oak button. Let me just get it back right quick. Ignore what I'm doing right now. Just fixing a mistake I made. Sorry about that, guys. So we're going to grab the dark oak trap door. And place them facing this way. So you have a little, uh... Like, windshield. Now, don't open it because, uh... It'll cause what just happened to me right now to happen. Um, I'll teach you how to fix it, though because I'm going to teach you how to make it, and that will teach you how to fix it as well when that happens. Now, uh, let's do a few details. We're going to grab the 
Acacia Fence Gate and the Birch Fence Gate. And just add Birch Fence Gates and open them above the nether brick walls. And above the Birch Fence Gates, add Acacia Fence Gates that are open. And in between these Birch Fence Gates, add a Dark Oak button. Now, uh, the mistake I made just now also caused another button to go, so again, ignore what I'm doing. Please just ignore what I'm doing, okay? There we go, that's better. Um, now, let's grab the yellow wool, and on the right side, add two yellow wools there, like that. And on this side, just add two behind here. And you don't have to do this, but I recommend you uh, fill in this little area with the yellow wool, just because, you know. And now, fill in these three blocks with yellow wool. Now, for this part, you actually have to, because you're going to see it from these windows. Now let's grab the black stained glass block. And we're going to add a 2x3 of it in here, like that. And now let's grab the dark prismarine stairs. And just add one facing toward the back, like this. And then add another one that's upside down, facing to the front. And now let's add black stained glass blocks on the sides. And one on the sides, there, kind of like that. It's a really weird shape, but it's for detail. Now let's grab the smooth quartz slab, and just add ones that are like this. And now is when we do all these details. Now it requires three items. The oak trap door, the oak fence, and the oak fence gate. Now let's just add a sideways oak fence gate in here, like that. And let's add oak trap doors on the sides and open them so they look like this. And let's add oak fences on the sides like that. And now let's add more oak trap doors and open them so they're like that. And once that's done, uh, we're all done with the details there. And let's grab the yellow wool and the oak stairs and add a 2x5 of yellow wool there, like that, and add one there, like that, and add oak stairs on the sides, and then add one right there, that's facing towards the front, like that, and let's add an oak trap door above this yellow wool, like that, and once we're done, we're actually going to copy what we built to the back. And this time, it's actually going to be a little different. Now, the rest of this is symmetrical, but there's one part that isn't symmetrical, so I'm just going to tell you what to do. When you see these smooth quartz slabs and dark prismarine stairs, make sure the dark prismarine stairs is on this side and the smooth quartz slab is on this side. So we're switching sides with these two things, but other than that, this is going to stay the exact same. So I'm just going to build it on the other side, and while you do it, I'll be doing it too. So just copy this. So, maybe while we do this, I'll just talk about stuff. Uh, how's your day going? Mine's going good. I'm having a good day. Um... Have you been having a good Christmas break? That's good to hear. Um. Hmm. Actually, I got that wrong there. I'm not really sure what to say, so I'm just gonna keep building. Oh, 
All right. Why is that not sideways? Oh well, it is now. All right, let's see, is that it? Nope. Well, that's almost it. There. We're done. Um, now there's also, um, a few other details we need to do. Um, so let's grab the stone button and the polished black stone button. Let's add a polished black stone button underneath the sandstone wall on this side. And let's add a stone button to the right of it. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, next let's grab the oak trap door, the warped button, and the oak button. And underneath these dark prismarine stairs here, next to the stone button, add an oak trap door, like that. And to the right of the oak trap door, add a warped button. And then underneath the warped button, add an oak button, like that. Now there's also a light we need to add on both sides, which will be with the smooth quartz block, the item frame, and the birch button. And just add the birch button. And then on that same block, add an item frame and put the smooth quartz block in it. And on the back, let's also do it as well. Wow, we opened a lot with that. Anyway, now let's grab the dark oak button. And on the left side, there's going to be a dark oak button right here. And now let's grab the oak button. And closer to the front, add the dark oak buttons like that. Now let's go to the back. And let's do the same thing. Closer to the front part of the back, you know what I mean. Um, now with all the button details we did, let's copy it and do it on the back. Now I'll do it a little bit slowly so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so polished black stone button there, stone button there, oak trap door, warped button, oak button, and dark oak button. Because the back can be kind of symmetrical because this is one of those trains where it's symmetrical on both sides a little bit. Now this isn't entirely symmetrical but it kind of is. Wait, why did I just put myself in survival? Ah, uh, they added a new thing and I accidentally activated it. Now you can see this is kind of cursed how it's a super small sofa. That requires a lot of debug sticking, which we'll do later, because we're not using it right now. And now it's at an oak button, right there, like that. Now this is one of those things that we don't add on the back there, like that. Now on the left side, we're also going to add an oak button, right there on that yellow wool. And we're also going to do that on the front, too. I forgot to do that. Now let's grab the, um, let's grab the yellow wool and the oak stairs and add oak stairs like this for now. We'll debug stick them later because we're going to be doing everything with the debug sticks when we're done. Um, let's add a 2x2 two two of yellow wool above. Now let's do the same thing on the back as well. And you actually, this is one of those things where you don't just fill it in and it's optional. You kind of have to so that there's a little wall back there. So just fill it in like this. And once we're done, we're gonna do this. Um, kind of just add a 2x4 of yellow wool on the side. And then add oak slabs there, right, like that. And let's also do it on this side. Oops, why'd I do that? And we're going to...
gonna do it like that on this side. And now let's grab the oak fence gate and just add sideways ones like this. Going only three blocks up like that. And that's what it should look like. Now let's go to the back and there's no details up here really on the back so let's just fill this entire part in with the yellow carpet but on the front there's a lot of detail here so we're gonna grab the acacia trap door the oak slab sorry and the scaffolding so grab um the oak slab and place one right there like that and then let's add the acacia trap doors and add them like that and then we're gonna add three scaffolding right behind there, like that. And now once we do that, once we're done that, I mean, we can place yellow carpet everywhere else. So it's like this. Now we're gonna grab the yellow wool and we're gonna fill the entire middle row up here with the yellow wool, all three blocks in the middle, just connect it all the way to the back or to the front, whichever way you're starting. Just connect them on the top row with yellow wool. Now the reason I'm not doing all five is because the right side and the left side is gray. Now, this can also be blue, so if you want, you can make this blue concrete, just because. But I used the gray concrete. I did that. Now let's grab the gray concrete. And on the right side, from the front, fill this entire row in with gray concrete. And let's start with the right side, because, um, the right side's a lot more, um, better. And let's grab the bedrock. And with the bedrock, fill this entire row in with bedrock, underneath the yellow wool, for detail. So it's like this. And once that's done, um, let's go grab the gray concrete. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now from the front and the back on the left side, add ten, um, gray concrete I think that was 10 yep just add 10 on both sides like that and now that's what it should look like um now we're actually gonna change something here you see this yellow part that's left out here we're gonna replace that all with bedrock because behind here is supposed to be bedrock. And don't worry, we won't see the bedrock there because um, it's going to be replaced with all these snow layers and stuff. So like I said, don't worry about it. Everything will be fine with it. So uh, first let's grab the oak button and place it right here, like that. On the side only. Sorry about that, I was just um, doing things. Now let's grab the dark oak trap door, the bedrock, and the dark oak sign. And let's also grab the gray concrete. And I just gotta count this 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm gonna go to the right side and add a 2 by 17 of gray concrete. Right here, so it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And let's divide your 2 by 17. Let's do a little vent on the right side. So just add a dark oak trap door and kind of open it so it's like that. And leave a block and do it facing that way. And just add a bedrock in the middle. 
And now it's out of gray concrete. And now just add a dark oak trap door, kind of open into that block, like that. And add a bedrock, gray concrete. And then repeat what we did right here with the vent there. Just add a dark oak trap door like this. And add another bedrock here. And add a gray concrete. And you see what we did with these three bedrocks and dark oak trap doors and stuff here? We're going to do that again, so just add a dark oak trap door, open into there like that, bedrock, and then dark oak trap door, then add gray concrete, and we're going to do the same thing again, and now above the very middle bedrocks on all these very long vents here, add a dark oak sign, I mean, above the middle bedrock, but don't type anything in there. And with these two vents, just leave these alone, like that. And once we're done, um, let's add the little 251 thing here. So let's grab the smooth quartz stairs, the grindstone, the gray concrete, and the birch button. And you know what? Let's fill in all these last rows in here with, um, gray concrete, these three very middle rows, underneath the bedrock, and above the black hole, like this, you see what I'm doing right here, that's what we need to do, That's kind of hard. Okay, we finally did that. Um, now it's some. I was gonna f say fill up the entire top row, but it is filled in, so I guess we're not doing that. Um, now let's add the 251. So we're gonna add some smooth quartz stairs, kind of like that. Sorry, you see what that is, right? Now let's add upside down back to back stairs, like that. For the 2-5 and now it's at a smooth quartz stairs facing that way for the little top part of the one and then a grindstone in there so that looks like a one now it's at two gray concrete blocks right there and on the very bottom one add a birch button for the period now it's at two upside down smooth quartz stairs and then a regular facing one like that and then let's fill the rest of that bottom row with gray concrete. And fill, sorry, fill that entire second row with gray concrete. Now let's add a gray concrete right here. And now we're gonna grab the dark oak trap door and bedrock back. Just add a dark oak trap door open like that. And then a bedrock there, gray concrete. Same thing, dark oak trap door, bedrock gray concrete and then dark oak trap doors on the sides and then bedrock and above the middle one add a dark oak sign so it looks like that and that's the right side almost completed you see this little two grindstones here closer to the front well above the one that's closer to the front add a birch button like that and on the bottom row Leave a block from the 251 heading towards the front. Now let's add four birch buttons, like that. And that's pretty much the entire right side finished. Let's go to the left side now. Um, this is going to be very tedious, so get ready for some hard work. Um, so let's grab the gray concrete. Actually, no, don't grab the... Actually, keep the gray concrete. If you kept the gray concrete this entire time, good. That's going to save a lot of time for yourself. I'm grabbing it and putting it away and stuff. Um, now let's grab the bedrock and the dark oak trap door as well. And we're going to put a dark oak trap door here, facing into there, like that. A bedrock there. And then place the gray concrete there. 
and just open the dark oak trap door like that. And now let's place the bedrock there. A gray concrete. Leave a block. A bedrock. A gray concrete. And then just open dark oak trap doors. And now there, like that. Now let's add a gray concrete there. And then leave a block. Bedrock. And just place the dark oak trap door there. And repeat what we did again. Gray concrete. Now let's add dark oak trap doors on the sides. And then a bedrock in the very middle. And now let's add two by twos of bedrocks close to the front. Leave a block. And in the very middle too, add bedrock. Now let's add open dark oak trap doors up there like that. And you can see this side is very like complicated and the top looks completely weird. <laughs> I know, it will be fixed very soon though. Um, now we're gonna grab the smooth court stairs, grindstone, and the birch button, and gray concrete. And let's add two gray concrete here, three more on the top, and then two right there, like that. Let's add two upside down smooth court stairs, like that, and then a regular facing one facing towards the back, like that. And right here, let's add a birch button in there, like that. And let's add a grindstone. And above the grindstone, add a smooth court stairs, facing toward the back. And in front of it, add back-to-back -back smooth court stairs. And now let's add that weird little shape there underneath from the 2-5. I know this is very complicated, but we're almost done this side. We literally just have to fill in the rest with gray concrete. Now let's grab the dark oak signs, and above all these three long bedrock vents on the ends, above the very middle bedrock, add a dark oak sign. But don't type anything in it. Now, let's grab the birch button. And you see these, like, these bedrocks and dark oak trap doors on the sides? Well, let's climb up to the bottom where these two black walls and this upside down stairs is. And right there, add three birch buttons, like that. And now, um, well, we have a little bit more to do. Um, let's grab the acacia trap door, the red sandstone wall, and the acacia fence gate. And leave a block from the scaffolding. And this is what the little thing that goes up will look like when it's down. Just leave a block from the scaffolding. Add an acacia fence gate. And add acacia trap doors above it. And add one sticking out like that. And then add two right there, like that. And a red sandstone wall, like that, right there. And now all around it, add yellow carpet. And let's add another row of yellow carpet. Now let's go to the back. Let's add a row of yellow carpet right here, like that. Add two on the sides, like that. And now we're going to build what this thing that sticks out looks like when it's up. Now if you're building it up on both sides, make sure that this one is diagonaling up that way and not this way. If you're making this one down too, make sure the red sandstone wall is facing over here. If you have space for it, actually you will, but it will be right into this uh, dark oak fence gate thing here, which I'll show you to make in a minute. So you're going to want to add an acacia fence gate there, and an acacia trapdoor above it, diagonaling towards whatever direction is closer to the cab here. Add another one, diagonaling there like that, kind of like this, beside the trapdoor. And add another trapdoor above it, and then add an acacia fence gate there. And then let's add the three acacia fence gates up here like that so it's connecting to the power line like this 
And now, let's add a row of yellow carpet. And then add two by twos of yellow carpet on the sides. Then these remaining two blocks add dark oak fence gates. Now let's grab the oak slab. And from the back, let's add six oak slabs right here, like that. And from the front, add five. And fill in the middle here with oak trap doors, like this. And on this side, fill this entire thing in with oak slabs until you can't anymore. Now let's grab the snow layer on the left side, add six snow layers, and fill it in with six snow layers for pretty much the entire left side part here. Four, five, six. And once that's done, let's add, um, you see where these oak trap doors are? Well, it, like, uh, it's hard to explain, um, just add an oak slab behind these oak trap doors to leave a block. And then behind all the oak trap doors, add six snow layers, like this. Oops, I added seven. And then remove the oak slabs, so it's like that. And now behind these oak slabs, add six snow layers here as well. So it's like this. And now in the middle, let's add seven in these middle parts here, like this. And let's add seven on this side as well. Five, six, seven. That's eight, so I have, to have, I have to add seven again. Now in this part, we only have to add five, thankfully. So we don't have to add seven or six, just five, like that. And now we're finally done adding the snow layers and all this oak slab and oak trap door stuff. And actually, to the looks, I think we're co almost completely done the train. All we have to add now is just the, uh, the debug stick stuff. And then I'll also show you how to make the power lines for fun, too. Just so that you can add power lines to the train. Um, if you want rail cars, um, maybe I can make some, I'm not sure. I haven't built any rail cars before. Well, I have, but I haven't made any tutorials on them. So, anyway, we're gonna grab the debug stick. And first, let's grab the dark oak button and the block of your choice. I'm using yellow wool. And place a yellow wool beside this sandstone wall on this side. And actually add two more right here. And grab the stone button. And add a stone button right here. And grab the debug stick. And left click it twice. And debug stick the stone button onto that sandstone wall for like the lights. Uh, you actually have to remove that block so that when you remove it after you do the button, it doesn't like break that because you don't have to remove it. And let's also get a dark oak button on this side as well. And let's also do the same thing here. Dark oak button, stone button. And I gotta do the debug sticking work like that. And that's what it should look like. And underneath that stone button, add another. And underneath this one, add a birch button. So it's like that. And now let's go to this side. And let's do the exact same thing. So it's like this on these sides. And let's add two of those there as well and a birch button and I know it's very complicated but we're almost done and 
and now I can remove all these wolves. And once we're done, we're actually done debug sticking buttons, I think. Yeah, I think we're done debugging debug sticking with the buttons. Oh wait, we're not. We have to go to the front and go to the left side. And on these two nether brick slabs underneath these yellow wolves, we're gonna get dark oak buttons on the slabs. Like this. And now we're done with the buttons. Now remember, I saw, well, not I saw, I showed you these cursed um, stairs here, where we're going to debug stick, um, left click twice, and debug stick until the shape is to whatever direction it needs to be to be like that. So it looks like that. And just keep right clicking and left clicking all you need until it looks like that. And now we're actually done with the train itself. And now I'm going to show you how to make the power line. So we're going to need the chain and the stone brick wall. It's very simple. Now you're just going to leave a block from the tracks, wherever you want the pole to be. And make a pole that's about 11 blocks tall. So just add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stone brick walls. And do it on the other side too. Now, for where this is, it's already made, so. After that, just add chains intersecting, or not intersecting, just going across like that. And you're only going to build more poles where you want it to be. Now I have more over here, so I can just try to line it up and connect these and when it comes to doing these like things that stick up I'm just gonna add chains through the middle so that they're actually like power lines now thanks to the addition of the chain it's a little easier to make power lines now because I just use like pressure plates, buttons, things like that barriers, debug sticks, all kinds of things like that and when it comes to here just leave the acacia trapdoors be and just add more chains so there's a bit of a chain gap and that's what it's supposed to look like and you just keep doing this all the way across until you're done adding power lines and I'm just gonna add another power line pole and like I said at the beginning if I said it um the reason that isn't lined up is because I mean why do you want a huge stone brick wall pillar in the way of the train when you can't even see it because of it. You'd rather it like this. And once we're done adding the chains, well, yeah, and that's how to build the power line as well as the Renfei 251. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, train fan 23 I hope you're happy with the build. Um, and thanks to you, you've just, like, given me my first train tutorial that is non-American. I didn't know how to say it, but, yeah. So, like I said at the beginning, you can see that I build American trains, like my CSX ET44AC, my CNC48-8W, all the other ones upcoming. Um, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more train tutorials. Next train tutorial will be the KCS Grey Ghost AC44CW. And this is what it looks like. Um, so stay tuned for this tomorrow. And then after that, I'll probably build the KD. And then I'll probably build this. And then maybe this. And I don't know, I'm not going to really choose too much of an order. That's just what I'm going to be making. And those are my plans so far. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.